So the second debate finished last night. Again, I just have to reiterate that I was very disillusioned with the CPD for not allowing Jill Stein and Gary Johnson to participate in this debate, because if they were there, then I think it would have been a lot less of a train wreck. And I kind of spoiled my main thoughts about this debate. It was, in fact, a train wreck, and I thought it was worse than the first one. When it comes to just the lack of policy substance, a lack of them being able to dive into issues that really matter. I mean, we had brief mentions of Citizens United and climate change and some social issues, but the entire debate was slanted towards foreign policy, and that was incredibly frustrating because the moderators, they framed the questions about Syria, for example, in a right-wing slant. Because if you really care about that poor boy in Aleppo, which is heartbreaking, well, there's many other young boys and girls that are facing the devastation of war that we're not talking about. So you can look at Yemen, you could look at Iraq, you can look to Somalia, where the United States killed 22 Somali soldiers who we're supposed to be protecting. This happened just a couple of weeks ago. They were given false intelligence that Al-Shabaab was in an area, and they ended up bombing and killing 22 soldiers, and the U.S. is not really taking responsibility for it. So there's atrocities happening everywhere, but for some reason, we're only focusing on Syria, and that to me is incredibly frustrating. The sheer lack of domestic policy at these debates is nauseating. I mean, there are more problems going on besides foreign policy issues that you have to address. Why didn't we talk about Flint? Where was any mention of the Dakota Access Pipeline. It's a huge issue right now. It's just so frustrating. So getting to the actual performance of the candidates, here's what I noticed here. Donald Trump, his strength comes in criticizing Hillary Clinton. He's great in that regard, but he's really terrible when it comes to policy substance, and he falls flat there. Now, Clinton, on the other hand, is good on policy substance, even though I don't necessarily believe what she's saying, and I think she's disingenuous. When she talks about policy, for purposes of the debate, she at least looks intelligent. So she's good at that and criticizing Donald Trump, but Unlike Donald Trump, she's not very good at responding well to criticisms. Now, there were a couple things that irritated me about Donald Trump overall. He kept interrupting her. He kept standing behind her like a crazy person, and it was just really weird. And, you know, something that you don't want to do. It looked as though he was almost trying to intimidate her. Now, I don't necessarily think that was what he was trying to do. I just think he's not very self-aware and doesn't realize how he comes off to other people. And it's just naturally creepy. So that was something that just annoyed me. And overall, I mean, when he was interrupting Clinton, kind of getting back to that, some of his points were good. But I mean, if you're trying to convince people that you have the right temperament to be president, wait your turn. Now, the sad thing about this debate is that the only exciting moments were when they were criticizing each other. I mean, that was entertaining, but how long did it take before we actually talked about the issues? I mean, just to show you how terrible both of these candidates are, they both came into this debate with major scandals. We had Hillary Clinton's Wall Street speeches released by WikiLeaks. We had Donald Trump practically imploding with rumors that his VP would be leaving the ticket after... This video was released that shows Donald Trump talking about sexual assault that he allegedly committed, according to him. So, I mean, we have just these terrible candidates where you can only root for them in the sense when they criticize the other. And that's when you have a really bad political climate. So overall, there wasn't a lot of substance. But who was it that won? So I thought this was really difficult to gauge who was the winner. And again, like last time, I think that it was very close because you had two very different debate performances. You had Hillary Clinton remain relatively consistent throughout the entire thing. She was calm, cool, and collective. And then you had Donald Trump with a really strange performance where I think the levels went up and down. There were at times... I mean, particularly during the beginning where uh, he was being questioned about his sexual comments and he just pivoted to ISIS. That was extremely cringeworthy. So you had times where he fell flat on his face, and then you had other times where he just landed several knockout blows to Hillary Clinton that she was not able to recover from. So last time I thought it was close, but I pegged Hillary Clinton as the winner. This time I do think it's close, but I think Donald Trump is the overall winner. 
So Hillary Clinton was very consistent, but she didn't have as much big moments as Donald Trump had. I mean, he was able to rebut some of her major criticisms with very significant criticism. So, for example, when she brought up Kaiser Khan and how he criticized him, who's a hero, well, Donald Trump said, well, yeah, but you voted for the war that sent him off to die. So, I mean, that was a very strong criticism. Uh, he also talked about how Bernie Sanders lost to Hillary Clinton because the primary was rigged. He talked about how she didn't know what the C meant. He even brought up the meeting that Bill Clinton had with Loretta Lynch before James Comey revealed that he was not going to recommend an indictment of Hillary Clinton. These are all things that are very substantial, and Hillary Clinton was dumbfounded, and she just completely didn't respond to them, because how can you respond to this? So I think because of all these really strong criticisms that Donald Trump used against her, I think he's the winner because of that. Now, that's not to say that he did phenomenal. I mean, he said really weird things. He said when it comes to Obamacare, he's going to come up with a policy that's, quote, so good. He's going to, quote, give people the economics. I mean, just saying really stupid things. So by saying that Donald Trump won, that's not saying that I think he had an outstanding performance, but I think that when it, you just kind of look at both of these candidates in terms of performance, I think that he landed a lot more knockout punches than Hillary Clinton. Now, that's not to say that she did terrible. That's not to say that, you know, she didn't have her moments as well. But overall, I think when you look at the big picture, Donald Trump, he probably won because... I mean, some of these things, I mean, bringing up the emails, and let me just say one thing, I do have to criticize the left for a moment, because many people were very frustrated when Donald Trump said that he would jail Hillary Clinton or have a special prosecutor look into Hillary Clinton's email situation, and look, is it relatively authoritarian to talk about jailing your political opponents? Well, sure, but let me ask people on the left this, were you in favor of President Obama investigating George W. Bush and Dick Cheney for war crimes and committing torture? Because if so, even though they weren't running against each other, that's still a political opponent. Someone that's on the opposite party as you is your political opponent. So if you were clamoring for that, but you're saying that Donald Trump is an authoritarian for wanting to investigate Hillary Clinton, you need to reevaluate your position because I think you're kind of a hypocrite. Now, am I saying that Hillary Clinton should go to jail? No, I'm just saying that she probably should have been indicted and potentially fined for what she did. I don't know if what she did is a jailable offense, but I think it's reasonable to think that someone who there's a ton of evidence that she is guilty uh, and that the intent was there should have at least been indicted. Now, I think that Donald Trump was speaking to that. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't think Donald Trump has fascistic or authoritarian tendencies because he very much does. And much like other people, I am worried that he would do things to violate the Constitution. But I'm also worried about Hillary Clinton in that regard as well. So I don't think that was as big as a deal as many people want to make it out to be. So in the end, though, I do think Donald Trump won this debate because of all the big moments. He looks as though he practiced a lot more. And it's just sad to me that he won that way by criticizing Hillary Clinton. I want to be able to say this person won because he or she actually had the policy substance there. But I can't say that about either of these candidates because they shined the best when they were criticizing the other. And that's not a political environment that I want for this country. It's incredibly sad and depressing. And it's going to make a lot of people disillusioned with the political process. So I wish I can say that they won based on the merits of their policy positions, but that's not the case. Donald Trump won because he was better at criticizing Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton lost because she wasn't as good at criticizing Donald Trump this time. You know, it, it's unfortunate, but that's why these candidates are both historically disliked.